Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Wells Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Um, this being said, it is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. If however this is the case and it doesn't seem to resonate with your story, um, please do take what belongs to you, what fits with you and your story and the rest. Just leave it aside. It was just not meant for you. If however you would like to have a personal reading, so your questions, um, your situation, your answers, 100% about you, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to um, give you the information on the different types of readings that I can offer you. That being said, if you do enjoy my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. And so that being said, please don't forget to subscribe and let's begin with this weekly reading. So I'm using here the Alice in Wonderland Tarot and I'm finishing it off with a little bit of um, Angel Answers Oracle Cards from the Angels. So let's see what's going on for you this week. I have the Six of Swords. I'm sorry, this is the Empress. She is in reverse. Judgment in reverse, hangman in reverse, I have the chariot reverse, I have nine of swords, and I have the two of pentacles. So, um, at a very quick glance here, I'm going to say before getting into each one of these cards that there are going to be some ups and some downs. You're going to have a little bit of difficulty here, uh, relationship and financially, okay? So, let's begin over here with the six of swords. Here's the Six of Swords. Alice is leaving in this little ship here. The Six of Swords indicates, a, you know, a safe space is what it is. It's seeking a safe space. This is what you're looking for. It's escaping a dangerous situation or a challenging one, maybe even. It's moving from an undesirable situation to a better one. You're trying to take a break, okay? This is about taking a journey. It's about heading towards safety. It's an escape. It's taking flight. It's a, even even admitting defeat on certain plans, okay, on certain um, aspects. Uh, this is, um, you know, this is, it might even be, you're going to leave for a certain amount of time, okay? It could be, and this is relationship-wise and money-wise, it is both. You could be leaving, and when I say a certain amount of time, it could be a day, it could be two hours, but you are going to live, leave for a little bit. You do need to have some time alone. You do need to think. You do need to uh, gather yourself. You do need to get some ideas and figure everything out because right now you're kind of seeing bleak, okay? It's, it's really murky for you right now and you need to go seek some shelter to be alone. Um, we have that followed over here by the Empress who is in a reverse position and our Empress is, you know, it's a feeling of lack. It's feeling like something is never ending. It's a never ending cycle. It's a lack of growth. It's stuck. It's loss of hope. It's lacking potential, lacking of comfort, of love, of caring, um, I did say, and I do have it down here, I did say that it did have to do also with some financial difficulties. So you're feeling as much in your relationship as for the financial difficulties that um, it's not moving anymore. It's stuck. It's always the same problem over and over and over again. And you don't know how to get out of it. You're again very, very tired of this. Um, we follow it up over here with a judgment card. And the judgment card is... You know, it's all about rebirth, it's renewal, it's coming to life, this is awakening, um, it's a change, it's a decision, it's forgiveness, it's a judgment call is what it is. This is an ending to something and beginning to something else. So I do feel as though you did go off, you did, you got some information, you felt better, you figured everything out or at least some certain parts to try and make your life better, your relationship and your finances and um, you were feeling quite down but you did come up with a solution. And I do think that um, that you're feeling better about this, you're happier about this, and you're starting to feel a little bit more up. Um, that being said, sorry, we do have after the hanged man. Hanged man is no longer hanging here, so he is in reverse position. And, you know, this is, uh, you know... Um, for the hanged man, it's a very uncomfortable position here. This here is all about letting go. It's about sacrifice. This is about surrender. It's withdrawal. It's restrictions. There are certain delays, I feel, and
and there are certain transformations I feel that some of your solutions that you came upon here uh, financially are going to create certain delays it creates certain delays in your relationship also but mostly financially you're going to have some delays a little bit of a crisis a little bit of of restriction you have to do some sacrifice okay in order to balance things off this week um we followed over here with the chariot and the chariot is all about you know using what you have this is what you're doing right now you're trying to use whatever you have and you're trying to to take the abilities and everything that you learned and you're trying to steer your chariot if you want in the right direction um, using all your abilities all your know-how and uh, what you can really do for it so this is what you're up to and you're having I mean horrible nightmares here with the nine of swords Um, it just keeps coming back to you it's a very heavy, heavy burden. It keeps coming back. Um, as I said, there's the financial difficulties that are depicted here, but there's also the um, the romantic difficulties that are coming along with it that you are finding very, very hard. So I think you need to take this time to communicate. You need to communicate with your with your partner. You need to try and come to a an understanding, come to a solution. Try to find over here. You did, and you did seem to find some solutions, and you do need to apply them. But I think your partner does need to apply some solutions also to gather in in this mind storming so that you can stop balancing over here so you can sleep better at night so you can put the financial difficulties aside so you can have more time to concentrate on your couple more time to communicate more time to build because your your couple is is weak right now and you need to build it you need to give it some strength again so you need to be working on the couple to to regain strength because i do feel that it's weak and you need to work on the finances that have difficulties right now so this is what is going on for you um this week the two of coins here that i kept mentioning all throughout the reading here is all about you know um, a situation that is feeling um, chaotic um, but you're managing you're managing to maintain I feel you're managing to get some control but you're juggling your finances your time your relationship you know um, everything you're just juggling everything and you're becoming really really tired of this and you need a rest um, you need to like you all it feels for you like you're always two steps behind um, no matter what it is that you do and the question that I feel like you must ask yourself this week is how um, how is this going to end um, how long can you keep this up and you need to really um, you need to really try and find the balancing the multitasking the tight budget you need to try and remain calm um, you in the fight in the face of this crisis and uh, you and your partner can beat all odds you can so you know uh, other worries will interfere but you can beat it you can do it okay but you need to try and get some help with the balancing act here it's very very difficult upon you and I have have here as an oracle card um remain positive so I mean what else could I say try and remain positive everything is going to be okay relationship wise a partner will be there to help you out um, but you need to communicate better and you need to get your finances uh, back in order to relieve all of the strain onto the uh, relationship so I do hope that you did enjoy the reading I hope that it brought you some enlightenment for the week to come um, if you would like a private reading romancefultarot at gmail.com in the meanwhile, um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you'll receive my my weeklies and my dailies and the other readings that I do throughout the week. I wish you many, many blessings and we'll see each other soon. Have a great day.